everybody. I'm doing a 30 minute session for a client. I'm gonna be calling this client Linda Love. This is what her uncle called her when she was little. All right, I'm gonna read the goals here and get started. Okay, so Linda Love says, my entire body feels stuck. All of my muscles are tense constantly. My head feels like it's going to explode. My neck, shoulders, and lower back are especially bothersome. I also feel stuck in life. I've been a hairdresser for 16 years. The salon I worked in closed due to virus, and I feel like I should be doing something else now. I had an awakening spiritual experience in 2010 and changed my lifestyle. I need help quitting smoking cigarettes and weed. My last two vices. Thank you. Okay. Wow, you got a, you got a lot of tough stuff going on here. Okay. I'm just really absorbing all of this in. Yeah. All right. Let's get down to some serious business here. <laughs> okay. I'm going to relax. Get tuned in. Okay. Okay. So when I walk into your energy field, uh, it's so this is what the scene looks like. It's kind of like um like a bubble. It looks like an iridescent bubble, like uh, clear with some rainbow to it. It's also the texture of something like slime, a thicker slime, something fun that you can squish in your hands, right? Um, and it, it sort of makes um, a wavy, it's not a perfect sphere or anything. It has no real structure. It's blobulous and it surrounds you. It's also waving in and out and in and out. It kind of radiates some kind of energy or frequency. And it really exhausts my face, my eyes, my head. It makes me feel tired. You have, a, you, you have a lot more power than you're giving yourself credit for. Because as I stand here, I feel like this could quickly change. Everything in your life could quickly, quickly change. But I feel also powerless not because i abby am powerless but because you feel that way and so we're looking at this scene together and you are you can't change anything you can't change the way things are i tell you that um all right, so there's this whole concept of changing everything, okay? We always want change right away. We don't want to work through it. <laughs> Working through it, how fun. The next five years of my life dedicated to changing my life. <laughs> so I have to learn and work and discover and it's effort, right? So you make one tiny change, one tiny change. I say, looking at this scene, what's one tiny change that you could, that you could, how about something that you want to give to this scene? That is sort of like a gift from yourself to the slime, to the blob that you're actually surrounded by. What's well, some kind of gift you could give to this? That's you actually changing things because you are providing um, an energetic shift. So sometimes... Like, for instance, if we're getting swallowed up, um, our life feels low, we're feeling low, thinking low thoughts, right? If we just add a gift to this moment in our life, I'm going to add a gift of a walk. And that's going to give me some fresh air. It's going to give me some time to clear my thoughts and my mind. It may not change the circumstances. It may not change anything at all. But it's a gift that I can give to myself that's positive that actually will change the energy. 
And now if you choose to take a walk whenever you feel inspired, let's just say you walk three times in a week. That's a giving a gift back to yourself while also giving a gift to the energy that feels low right now in order to change everything. It's a small gift. It could be a five minute walk. You're already adding an ingredient of change. You see what I mean? I feel like there is a lot to look at here. So this is still just, just giving the surface kind of thing. I feel like I really want to take a big step in, but I can only just kind of scoot my way in. A little, another little scoot here. <laughs> hmm. What is this? There's some kind of resistance here. Really tired. We're still looking at this glob, globule substance. You look very, very small and it looks very, very big. You have a very tiny voice. You are so stuck. Because this very tiny you, the smaller you get, the tinier voices, you might as well not say anything at all, you might as well not even exist. You have no power, no control over this glob. And so you literally are just turning into what is like a little pawn, like a chess piece, a pawn, just... I mean, it's negative self-talk, is like a worthless pawn, a worthless... Um... It's, it's there's a negative self-talk vibe going on as we're evaluating you getting smaller, your voice getting smaller, you might as well not even exist, you're turning into a pawn, you don't even get to decide where you want to go, life just moves you one little square at a time, and, you know, and it just feels like it's all out of your control. There's a reason why I am not the one to change everything here. I am the one to show you how to change your life. However, I'm going to do as much as I can to alleviate the stress and the burden of what you have going on. To give you some of your own fresh air to breathe. To help empower you. Gosh, you are so stuck. Okay, the next um, experience is... Um, I'm down to your level, okay? So we're the same size now. And you're trying to make one big step forward and it's just like you get paused in midair. Nothing happens. You're going nowhere. I slow time way down, so I'm just slowing time way down. Because when we slow time way down, we can catch up with ourselves. It's almost like your ambitions are going faster than your body in a way. Like so it's just you're getting a bit paralyzed, stuck in place. So we need to get all these aspects of you on the same timeline, same wavelength, because Let's just say your ambitions are two years ahead of you. Then you're, you're two years ahead of your physical body. Now, how are you, is your physical body going to get two years into the future? So you're literally flash freezing yourself. Because you're creating a glitch. A major glitch. In time and, and space. And place. Your, your mind with your body, with your ambitions, with your goals, with your all these things. Gosh, it's a really, really... Just a second. I'm washing away this. <laughs> I'm washing your face right now. <laughs> You're like, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'm just continuing to relax you. Just way too much stress stored. It's like stress stored in your face. Again, we got... 
feel like I need to draw you so many pictures. Because we need to bring... There's like three lines, okay? Um, and they don't know how to work in unison with each other. So they're trying very hard. These frequencies are trying very hard to sync up with one another. And in syncing up, they feel even more burdened by having to take on the burdens of the other frequencies. And they're getting lost in all of this. And you're kind of separated. You're separated into three parts of yourself trying to go in unison with the other parts. But it's like, and you can't merge back together again. And it's, it's like, uh... A lot. It's a lot. I mean, you totally, it's, it's feeling like totally lost in how to be yourself. You are so, you are so interesting. <laughs> this is so much of this is radiating from your mind, from your mental body. And it's so loud. I mean, where's your other chakras? How did you do this? Like, it's like, wow, what is this? <laughs> right now, I'm just sending lots of love and support, okay, to the... It's kind of like elephants on parade. It's like that Dumbo part where he drinks some of the alcohol in the water. And there's just like all this topsy-turvy stuff going on. And he's trying to figure out where he's at and where's reality. It's like a, it's like a weird uh, elephant's um, purple dancing elephant. Like all this energy I'm walking into, it's getting more and more weird, okay? It's getting more and more. It's trying to make sense of itself. And it's getting frustrated with itself. And it's trying to work together. And it can't work together. And it's, it's like, and then it's stuck. And then it's a chess piece. And now it's negative self-talk. <laughs> it's just like, wow, it's so much. I can tell you really are trying. You're trying so hard. You're stuck. You're, you're, it's like, it, it could be what could potentially be throw, like you're a baseball throwing yourself into the ambitions of where you want to be in the future. But you've done, you've thrown so much of yourself ahead of yourself that your body can't keep up. So you've created a weird like glitch as to where am I? Where am I? I'm right here. How come I feel so stuck? So I, again, I'm having to like calm a lot of stuff down and bring you back to yourself. Slow all this stuff, give you way more time to work with. <laughs> it's giving you more time. It's so easy to get ahead of yourself without even realizing you're doing it. I, I am the master at this. When I realize I'm doing it though, and I start to slow down. I say, was was I being insane right there? Like, why was I just, just reacting and doing things? Maybe I needed to just stop and just just be my just be me and just lay lay down on the floor and just look at the ceiling and then just catch up with myself for a minute. It's like sometimes you just get so in the flow of the moment that you don't even know where you're at anymore. I'm just still relaxing you out. There's just again your mind starts to take over. I'm bringing in some major Zen energy, okay? You have a strange relationship with time too, because it's it's something you could be very meditative as and Zen like, but you're also like ambitious. There's this this it's sort of um go 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 go. I can do it more 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 like and then the Zen here. And they're not working together. They're not working together. They're, you got, you spliced out somehow. I 
I'm really proud of you for saying you're ready, Linda Love, that you're ready to let go of, of cigarettes and weed because, like, I always find that that weed has a way of of not helping people as, as much as it may appear. And I'm wondering if marijuana usage has created this distorted distortion, energy distortion around your mind. Imagine if your mind could be in three distinctive parts and they think in three ways. But they need to just work together. And if they, if, if they can't, it's like you're living three lives then because you have three minds. And you're ahead of yourself and you can't keep up. So then you're stuck back here. Well, you should be way up here. I'm still sending lots of energy vibes here just to continue to send love and perspective and just support. It's That's what this frequency is. So as I'm talking to you, telling you what's going on, I'm also just relaxing things down. Again, this is about your, the energy around your head. It's that squishy, the pretty rainbow slime. It's clear, it's got iridescent sort of rainbow to it. It's like I'm starting to see your head as a basketball and it's covered in this slime. And as I continue to just calm everything down, just help it to just stabilize as in it doesn't have to understand itself right now it doesn't have to be more or less or and it, it it can just be just just like this right now your three brains don't have to come together or even know how to yet i'm just taking a look at what's going on so you can see what's going on in your energy fields from your conscious mind It'll, it'll start shifting things. It'll start manifesting ideas. I need to look at your crown chakra and your third eye. I mean, all your chakras are going to need looked at. You kind of, you do carry a bit of a doubt that you're ever going to reach a dream that you feel is true inside yourself and it's a special dream very special beautiful dream but you're gonna have to it's like you're gonna you it's like the car that's been through so much it needs to go to the auto body shop and get totally refurbished and it almost seems like too much work but it's never too much work. Those professionals can refurbish anything. You can be refurbished. Your energy field can be totally reborn. And your dreams can come true. And even just saying that and just feeling out your inner child, it's like an inner child dream of something very beautiful for yourself. That is so pure. It actually creates its own frequency of stability and it brings you all back to yourself again. Something simpler 
doesn't have all the answers, but it's, it's a dream that you believe in. And it's not scatterbrained. It's not all over the place. It's not ahead of itself. It's not stuck. It's an inner childlike dream. It's flowing, forever flowing. And it's helping to remind all your energies how to be in the flow of this dream as well. Still working on your head, okay? Making some incredible progress here. Still extremely sensitive, but we are making progress. Just tapping into this inner child dream, it's, there's no need for negative self-talk. No need for any of that. It is so stable and so pure within its own essence. It's unwavering in its own essence. It's so strong within itself that it can't be questioned. It can't be denied. It can't even be ridiculed. It can't be put down. It can't be separated. It can't be removed. It can't be destroyed. It is stronger than everything else that is going on in your mind, which is standing up to all of this and giving all of this mind stuff a frequency to rehabilitate itself with you you could you're so close to like you're ready for a rebirth of yourself your identity your life but first stability um, consistency that creates then the rebirth can't be reborn in instability it's not a healthy environment for rebirth <laughs> major major improvements here your mind isn't like big anymore. It's starting to get back to what looks like a normal size. It doesn't feel separated into three parts. It's starting to feel like a normal mind again. It's still like pulsating, like it's hemorrhaging a bit. Um, there's just a little bit of remnants of this cl clear um, slime. <sighs> It's not there yet, but it has so much more there than it, it was at the beginning. <sighs> there is so much to uncover, but we have to continue to work on the mind. I'm going to just, I'm literally touching your heart. I'm just going to keep a me right here, looking into your eyes and touching your heart and telling you, it's kind of like a reassurance that everything's going to be okay. That you're going to feel so much better. You already are feeling so much better. That life is healing. That you're healing. You are healing. And I'm saying this to you, looking into your eyes, telling you this truth. So I'm going to keep this me here, continuing to send this vibe. And I'm going to go take a look in, into your third eye, okay? This is, this is really making you uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like you don't know how to have your head attached to your neck, attached to your shoulders, attached to your torso. It's like it's like me focusing on your heart and your mind at the same time is just freaking everything out. It doesn't know how to work together. But I'm holding steady here, okay? 
because I have to start teaching you how to uh, allow all of you to work together. You want to keep separating your head from the rest of the body, but your head needs to stay on your neck, on your shoulders. You know, it needs to stay on your body. It's like your head is a soccer ball that you kick like so far away. And then your body can't keep up with as far as you throw your own head and your mind, your mind becomes three three versions of itself that can't work together. <laughs> and now we're like back to where we were, right? But we're stabilizing all that now, okay? You, you, uh, you're saying, um, this is good. It's honest. It's never going to fix. It's never going to get better. It's never, it's just so much work. It's so much effort. It's never going to get better. It's just, it just, so I'm going to just, uh, that's worrying, right? About something we don't know anything about. It's never going to get better. Never. For all eternity, it's never going to get better. And you, you need to stop saying that. I'm telling this inner you. This inner you looks like a humanoid frog with like a light green skin. Really a long legs. And she sits um, like in a corner and just shakes her frog head and she has lips like red lipstick on. She's like, it's never going to get better. It's never, never, never going to get better. And, and I, I remind her that Never means forever, <laughs> means eternity, means you're already telling the universe that you want to be like this forever. It says, I want this forever. Even if you say it's never going to get better, it's basically saying, I'm going to feel like this forever. So universe, allow me to feel like this forever. The universe takes everything you say literally. It doesn't read between the lines here. <laughs> You're basically condemning yourself to forever. And it is going to get better. It already is getting better. So simply say it is getting better every single day. It is getting better. That's all you have to say. And you can even say it is better. Because that's pulling the future, the past, everything into this present moment where it is better now. It is better now. It is all better now. Even in moments where it's all over the place, you can say it is better now. Believe it or not, that has the power to create that truth. I swear to God, lying to yourself can be, it's like, it's not lying to yourself because it is the truth. It is better now, right? Because the future, it is better. In the past, well, we can change the past and say it was better then, it's better now, it always will be better because it's always been better forever. Now we tell the universe this truth and the universe takes it literally. Okay, so things are better. Great. Oh, she really feels like things are great forever. Okay, great. <laughs> you can make it more and more authentic as you continue to love yourself in the process of continuing to work on this and bringing the future into the present when everything truly is better because it's already better, right? It always was better. It's getting you out of that other place. And I tell her that I think she's a really cool frog person. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She's got like fake lashes on that are really long and she's like batting her eyes. <laughs> she... she looks very pretty. <laughs> it makes her feel really bright in her heart. She looks very pretty. And she says, thank you. Again, your mind is feeling a lot better. It's still work to do, but a huge improvement. Oh my gosh. Like, this is so manageable. 
I want to really help. I, I'm over here still sending love into your heart. So your mind is getting into balance while it's also feeling the love that is being sent into your heart. I'm going to help your head feel as though it's attached to your neck, attached to your shoulders, attached to your hips. Like you're attached to your body, okay? Everything is together, working together. Okay, this is good. This is some anger, frustration. <sighs> because it is hard. It is, life is hard. And this situation has been really hard. So you're kind of venting that out. <sighs> I'm just angry. <sighs> I'm continuing to encourage your head to be attached to your neck, attached to your shoulders. And that it can feel peaceful and zen-like and lovely, okay? Not like your head is being, like, ripped off and kicked out into the infinite universe. <laughs> you need to stay connected to your body. You need to work with your body. You need to stay connected to your body. I am saying this over and over again. You are connected to your body. I'm going to have to pull your soul in. Right on down to the feet. Very tired. You want to run away from yourself. But you know it's not okay to do that anymore. You need to stay with yourself. You need to stay connected to yourself. Still working on encouraging you to feel connected to your neck and to your shoulders, etc. Still touching your heart. I'm going to touch your third eye. I'm going to touch your crown. I'm going to have multiple knees. One for each chakra, okay? And I'm looking into the eyes of your crown chakra and I'm saying, You are so beautiful. You are so bright. Thank you so much for allowing me to meet you and share love with you. Thank you for choosing to receive the love that I have to share. Third Eye, thank you so much for this beautiful opportunity to meet you. Thank you so much for letting me get to know you. It's been such a pleasure. You are beautiful, Third Eye. You are wise. You are connected to the crown. You're connected to the throat and the heart and the solar plexus and the sacral and the root. Connected to the body. Connected to the spirit, connected to the earth and the stars. You are stable and grounded. Mm. Just going to continue to touch each one of your chakras so there's a me still sending love to your third eye still sending love to your crown and just placing a hand within your throat and I see your throat as a person and I give that person a very long hug and your throat looks like it's coated in mud I just give you a really long hug even if it's coated in mud and I let this hug be like rain washing the mud away and sunlight drying it or drying you all out, helping you to feel bright and shiny and new. And I say, throat, you are connected to the crown and the third eye. You are tuned into yourself and to the heart, into the solar plexus, into the sacral chakra, into the root. You are such an important part of this life experience. 
for Linda Love. You matter so much. Mm. Thank you for being such a beautiful space for self-expression. Continuing to send love into your throat as well as your heart. Continuing to remind all your chakras they are connected to each other. They're a part of each other. Showing your heart how it is a part of the throat and the third eye and the crown it is a part of the solar plexus, the sacral chakra, the root, part of the earth and the stars, part of the body, part of the soul, part of all of creation. Placing a hand in the solar plexus. <sighs> Sharing lots of bright, beautiful colors with your solar plexus. Like every color has a message, has uh, something to say, something beautiful to share. Like a rainbow of colors that I'm sharing with your solar plexus. A rainbow of feelings and ideas and harmonies, sounds. Reminding solar plexus that it is connected to all the chakras. The sacral chakra and the root, the heart, the throat, the mind, third eye and crown. It's connected to the body, the earth, the stars. Touching your sacral chakra. All these me's are still touching every one of your chakras. Filling your sacral chakra with so much love. Helping you to feel truly loved and appreciated. Helping you to feel valued. Thanking you for being a part of my life. For being such a valuable experience for me too. Touching your root chakra. Helping your root to really feel the value of the grounded energy and stability, connectedness, the earth, the physical form, all the other chakras. Boy, you feel so much better, like uh, peaceful, serene, grounded, quiet, exhausted. Your head is connected to your body. Your body is, <laughs> your head is connected to your neck. <laughs> your neck is connected to your shoulders. <laughs> so we're getting everybody connected. <laughs> And they're feeling connected. They're feeling a part of each other. Feeling a lot better. This is a huge start. This is great. Linda Love, I am so thankful. I'm so glad I got to meet you and got to do this energy work with you today. There's follow-up sessions that I can't wait to dive into. See how you're doing. So... Just collecting myself here. <laughs> got you collected. I got to collect myself. <laughs> hmm. I'm so impressed by how much progress we made today. Okay. Thank you again so much. Thank you so much for sharing. And for those of you watching, if any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Have a great day, everybody.